Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the video latency of these three FPV cameras. On the right side I've got the Runcam Split 2, on the middle the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro and on the left side the Ishin Stack X. The real comparison is between these two cameras because they both provide an HD video recording option but I'm also going to compare it with the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro so we have another indicator whether the latency is being affected by the HD recording capability. I'm going to use with both Runcam Split 2 and the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro the TBS HV VTX and as for the Ishin Stack X I'm going to use its built-in VTX. So in my test I'm going to use this OTG receiver which might extend the latency time however I'm going to use the same OTG receiver with these three cameras so they are going to be affected in the same way and in addition I'm going to use the same SD card inside the Ishin Stack X and in the Runcam Split 2 and they are both going to be recording while I'm going to do the latency test. So let's start with the Runcam Split 2. Now I'm going to connect the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro. Finally, the issue is Stack X. So overall, on average, the Runcam Split 2 had a latency of 140 milliseconds, the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro 100 milliseconds, and the Ishin Stack X surprisingly beat the Runcam Split 2 and had average latency of about 120 milliseconds. You can also pause the video for yourself and see the differences in different times. I do believe that when using proper FPV equipment you're going to experience less delay than the one I had with my OTG receiver. But it still gives you an indication about the differences between these cameras. Now I did hear some bad things about the Ishin Stack X but I'm going to try it for myself and see how it performs so soon I'm going to feature it in the build video using this frame from Tinsley RC. This is the Big Shark frame which I reviewed and as I told you in the review of the Ishin Stack X this camera does not fit all the frames and I think it's going to fit this one because the cage here is very big and I will be able to fit it inside. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about these cameras, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.